wants those threatening Nigeria's sovereignty says they will pay every price. President Tinubu says his administration is re-engineering Nigeria's finances and seeking to boost the purchasing power of citizens. President Bola Tinubu on Wednesday read the riot act to those threatening the nation's sovereignty, saying the characters will definitely face the consequences of their nefarious actions. The president's warning came on the heels of recent incidents, including Yoruba nation agitators' invasion of the Oyo State Governor's Office and the State House of Assembly in Ibadan last week, as well as the agitation of the proscribed Independent People of Biafra IPOB in the Southeast region. Speaking while receiving a delegation of Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afeni Ferre, led by its leader, Paul Ruben Fashoronte, at the State House Abuja, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu declared that those who threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria would pay a heavy price. His words, those who think they can threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria will have themselves to blame. They have a price to pay and we are not going to relent. He further addressed the government's commitment towards addressing security challenges facing the country, saying, I am irrevocably committed to the unity of Nigeria and constitutional democracy. Constitutional democracy is reflected greatly here since we assumed office. What we face now is the challenge of terrorism. Security of life and property is very necessary for development. I can tell you we are achieving success. We have degraded terrorism to a level that they cannot threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria any longer. Banditry and kidnapping will be defeated and there is no payment of ransom whatsoever. We are taking the battle to them. We are getting results more rapidly than before. We are working hard on intelligence gathering. The president stressed that his administration remains undeterred in its pursuit of comprehensive economic security for the country while addressing foundational challenges and creating a fair and equitable system in which all Nigerians can thrive. President Tinubu said his administration is re-engineering Nigeria's finances and seeking to boost the purchasing power of citizens and spread prosperity down the line by instituting a credit system where the element of cash is not an impediment to a significantly enhanced standard of living for all citizens. According to him, Nigeria must secure itself economically first before it can achieve any of its more sophisticated objectives. We are committed to the economic survival of our country, to re-engineer the finances of our country. We must start in earnest. So first, we to revamp the economic opportunities available and resolve to continue taking the firm and steady baby steps that are necessary. Education is a strong weapon against poverty. To empower the people, we must invest in the future of the youth of our youth. We have seen the problems parents face in training their children in school. It is the reason why we established the National Student Loan Program, which is taking off well. We are equally examining what to do with the high degree of unemployment we must help vulnerable people by providing social security. We are looking at how to provide allowances for the unemployed and we are developing ways to boost the purchasing power of citizens with the consumer credit scheme. If we remove the cash upfront element to buy a car or a house, we will reduce the propensity for fraud and corruption across the land, President Bolatinobu said. The president thanked the delegation for their prayers and support, assuring them that he would not relent in his resolve to advance Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. God bless our unity. 
our diversity must bring prosperity for all for the sake of Nigeria. President Tinubu Foda said. Earlier in his remarks, His Royal Majesty Oluabo of Ilu Iluabo, Oba Olu Fale, commended the President for his courageous decisions and for the rehabilitation of the Third Mainland Bridge in Lagos, as well as other critical ongoing projects. He urged the President not to relent in ensuring fairness and equity for all Nigerians, while noting the importance of a constitutional amendment to devolve more powers to the state. We are delighted about what you are doing for our country, and we assure you of our continued support. We thank you for your visit to Akure in February 2024, and we believe it is right and proper to reciprocate your kind gesture. We appreciate this relationship and we need to make it work in the interest of Nigeria. Mr. President, you are the leader of Nigeria now and the most important political figure in Africa. We expect you, in view of your legacy and pedigree, to lead our country with knowledge, courage and integrity. We have no doubt that your tenure will mark a turning point in the history of our country under your leadership, Nigeria will be repositioned. We will stand by you as you make all efforts to change the Nigeria story for the better. Be assured, Afeni Fere will not abandon you in fair or foul weather. As long as you remain faithful to the principles of fairness, integrity and courage that is expected of you as the leader of Nigeria, we will stand by you. Oba Falae said, and this is the news for today, my people. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.